Hello YouTube, this is EN559Fresno here, and I'm going to teach you how to jailbreak your iOS 4.3.1 device untethered with Red Snow 0.9.6 RC12. Um, let's get started. Uh, by the way, I'd like to say this works on iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, and maybe more um, de iDevices. I'll list them in the description. Uh, I'm going to be using iPhone 3GS for this video, but it should be all the same. Okay, first thing you need to do is you're going to need to download Red Snow 0.9.6 RC12. The link will be in the description. And you're also going to need to download a firmware file for your device. Um, that will also be in the description. For 3GS, the firmware will start with iPhone 2.1. Um, for 3G, it'll be 1, 2, but there is no 4.3.1 on iPhone 3G, so you don't need it. On iPhone 4, I'm not sure what it starts with, but uh, I'll list the link in the description. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is have your iPhone powered on and plug it into your computer. iTunes will open up by itself. Uh, maybe, if it does, just exit it out. If it is backing up, um, I wouldn't recommend exiting it because it might freeze. Just cancel the sync right here. So it cancels over here once there's nothing there and just an Apple. Click exit. Okay, I'm going to show you that I am on 4.3.1 before we begin. As you can tell, I am on 4.3.1. Okay, so let's get started. Once your phone is in uh, plugged into your computer and you've closed iTunes, what you're going to need to do next is power it off. Okay, now that your phone is completely powered off, there's nothing loading in it, you're going to need to create a folder called Jailbreak 431 on your desktop. We will do that right now. Leave your iPhone plugged in. Go a right in Windows, you're just going to right click like I did, then click New, find Folder, and name it iPhone. I'm sorry, uh, jailbreak 431. 431 just uh, going to 4.3.1. But don't put any points, just jailbreak 431. Okay, now that that's done and um, Red Snow is installed, I mean downloaded on your computer, you're just going to need to extract the main file. It looks like that right there. You're going to need to extract that into the Jailbreak 431 folder. And it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so it's in the folder as you can see. We can exit that folder now. Make sure that it is extracted, although it may appear to be blank, the file might be in there. Okay, so after that we're going to need to put that jailbreak 431 folder onto your desktop. Mine is already on my desktop, so I'm good to go. Next thing you're going to need to do is make sure your IPSW, your firmware, is downloaded for your device, the 4.3.1 firmware. It's a very big file, so it's going to take some time. Feel free to pause the video for, from now. Okay, what you're going to need to do once the firmware is downloaded is it'll look like this, except it might be just a little different in writing. And what you're going to need to do is move that file right there into the Jailbreak 431 folder. Now that that file is in the Jailbreak 431 folder, we're going to open up Red Snow. So we're going to first open up Jailbreak 431. And now this will pop up. Now we're going to open up Red Snow. 
Since we, I am running on Windows 7, I'm just going to remind you to do this first. Right click on Red Snow. Click Properties. This is only if you're running Windows 7. Click Unblock right here. Then go to Compatibility right here. Run this program in Compatibility Mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. Oops. and we'll go down right here run as an administrator click apply click OK now that that's done you might see like a little shield on the bottom uh, right that's good okay now I'll open it up click yes and this will open up it'll say please select the corresponding IPSW for your current firmware so just go uh, click here where it says browse and jailbreak 431 will be open if it's not go right here where it says desktop click desktop then click jailbreak 431 then find this firmware click on it once click open it should say processing firmware it'll ask you if this is the newer model of the iPhone 3GS um, is this the newer model of the iPhone 3GS? If you're not sure, you can determine your production week. Uh, you need to select if it's the newer uh, version of the iPhone 3GS or the older version. If you don't know right now, um, what you can do is get like a little thumbtack or paper clip and pop out the SIM tray. And on the SIM tray, uh, you should see some numbers right here and right here. The one that you are looking for is the numbers on the top. Not down here, but up here. You're going to look at the fourth and fifth digit. It should, um, let's just say in my case, my fourth and fifth digits are 27. So I'm going to select no. As long as yours are any number from 40, 40 and lower, like 39, 38, 37, anything lower than that, select no. If it's anything higher, select yes. If you mess up, don't worry, it'll just make you have to go back to the screen. No problem. So since I'm 27, just click no. And it should say IPSW successfully identified. Click next. Patching kernel, just give it some time. Okay, now here it is. You should see all of these uh, check mark boxes. These are all the options you have. What you want to do is click install Cydia. If you do not have an AT&T SIM card, Although you, I'm pretty sure you cannot run an unlocked iPhone on 4.3.1 unless you have the iPad baseband installed um, from 4.2.1. But anyways, if you don't have an AT&T SIM card, just check deactivate. I don't need to, so I'm not going to. Install iPad baseband is right here, so I think they might have found a way to allow that on 4.3.1. I don't have another iPhone to confirm that as of now. Okay, so we just want Cydia. So just click check mark Cydia, it should be there for you. Click next. Just say please make sure your device is off and plugged into your computer. It's off and plugged into the computer. Um, if you didn't turn it off yet, just go ahead and do that now. What we're going to do is click next. So it's say, okay, I'm going to go back um, to tell you what's going to happen. What you're going to do is put your device into DFU mode. What that is, is you're going to have to hold the home and the power button at the, I'm sorry, yeah, the home and the power button at the same time uh, for a certain number of seconds if it's already on right now. It'll shut off. Okay, so DFU mode. We're going to hold the power button for a certain amount of seconds. 
then it'll allow it'll tell us to keep holding the home and the power button we're going to do that for a certain amount of seconds you'll see that on the next screen then you're just going to you're just going to hold the home button but release the top power button if it's on right now it's okay i mean they say it doesn't have to it says it has to be off uh, it's okay okay we got to do this quick Okay, it says hold the power button for one second. Now you're going to hold both the home and the power button right now. Three, two, one, zero. Now we're going to release this button but continue holding this for 12 seconds. Don't worry if it fails, don't freak out. You can just go back. Mine works, see? So now it's jailbreaking. So you can see it's powering on, it says waiting for reboot, downloading jailbreak data, and uploading RAM disk. You should see all this code running on your device, don't worry, it's not bricked or anything. Please wait, just don't worry about that. It'll say the rest of this process takes place on your device. Done. Don't click finish. You see a little pineapple with legs. Um, just let it do its thing. This is all normal. Don't press any buttons at this time. It's kind of slow, but it's uh, it's working. There you go. Now it's gonna reboot. At this point, you can click finish uh, on your computer. Go ahead and click finish. Leave it plugged in. Better to be safe than sorry. Your iPhone. Don't unplug it. There you go. Now let's see if Cydia is here. Yep, it is. I'm gonna open up Cydia. Oh, but I need to enter my Wi-Fi first, so let me just bring it back right now. Okay, so we're going to open up Cydia right now. It should say preparing, preparing file system. Cydia will exit when complete. That's normal. It's going to take a little while.
So you'll hear that noise maybe if it's still 